Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. With the new prices for 2022 Tundra going up, am I still buying the 2022 Toyota Tundra? You bet I am. In fact, the Tundra I've purchased, which is a 2022 Platinum, it's already on its way to a West Coast dealership here. Uh, the production is finished for that model, and I'm supposed to be uh, receiving it sometime end of December, which isn't too far away, about a month and a week or two away. So in about six weeks, I should be driving the 2022 Tundra in Platinum in the Windchill Pearl, which is a white color. That's the car I ordered. So I'm really excited to let you know that should be coming very soon. And I know a lot of people have been asking me, David, are you really certain you still want the Tundra when they have raised the price that much? Well, let me explain to you why I'm still buying the Tundra and why I am buying the Platinum. So first of all, I do want to confirm that I am still indeed buying the 2022 Toyota Tundra even though I did think about buying something else. So for example, I can buy the 2022 Lexus GX with the V8 engine for about the same price as a fully equipped Toyota Tundra Platinum. So that have made me think a couple times but I'm still staying true to my original thinking which is one, I need a truck. Two, I need to trade in my Tacoma TRD Pro for something bigger. And I truly, truly want to experience what's it like to own the Tundra, a truck that I have been talking about for almost a year. So I'm still committed to buying that, so please don't worry. Um, but if I look at the prices, and I have the price sheets right here, it did give me a little bit of a sticker shock right off the bat. Now this is the US pricing I have. The Canadian prices have not been announced yet. That should be coming soon. But in terms of the US pricing, the 2022 Tundra is anywhere from about $2,200 US all the way to uh, $8,800 more expensive than 2021. Now, uh, if you add some more equipment, then it could be up to $10,000 US difference between a 2021 and a 2022. So why am I still buying the Tundra? Well, many, many different reasons. But in terms of pricing, first of all, you have to keep in mind that there is such a thing called equipment adjusted pricing, which means that in order to compare apples to apples versus apples to orange, you have to take a 2021 Tundra and give it exact same equipment and features as a 2022 and then compare the prices. Now that is obviously not possible because there are many things that's now standard or offered in 2022 Tundra that was never offered in 2021 Tundra. But if it was possible to take some of those uh, equipment and add it to the 21 Tundra, everything from, uh, in my case, for platinum, head-up display or HUD, or um, panoramic roof that opens all the way, of course, that was never offered in 2021, all the way to upgraded interior, leather, 14-inch screen, what well, you name it. There are so many new features and added technology and features on the 2022 that if you were to compare the base price to base price between 21 to 22, it just isn't apple to apple comparison. In fact, it really is more like apple to orange because once again, many features were not available in a 21. So how could you put a price tag on something like a 12 inch uh, digital cluster in the case again of a platinum, I get that, or the 14 inch infotainment system, which is all new and much improved over the 2021, a turbocharged engine with more power and torque, even though I admit that most of us would have preferred to at least have an option to buy a V8, nevertheless, we are getting more power and more torque and with a better fuel efficiency. So those are just a few of the things I can name. There's so many other, more than a dozen features that are available and added to the Platinum that I'm buying that was never offered in 2021. So I did a quick calculation to compare the prices of the 2021 to 2022 Tundra, especially the Platinum one that I'm buying, to see if those equipment, the new equipment, were indeed made available in 2021, would the price difference still be eight or $9,000? Well, lo and behold, if those equipment were added as an option to 2021, I did a quick math, and according to my analysis, the difference is more about three to $4,000, which is totally fair because prices go up by five or 6% each year anyway, even if it's exactly the same model. 
Now you might wonder how I came up with the calculation. It wasn't just based on the content change from 21 to 22, but it was also based on things like increasing horsepower, increasing torque, increasing structural rigidity and safety features, all that stuff which is a very difficult uh, thing to figure out because you can't put a number on those. But I estimated what kind of a price tag will be added to the 2021 if all those new features, new power, new torque ratings, all that stuff somehow had to be added to 2021. And again, based on my estimate, um, I think it's about three to $4,000 difference, not the $8,000 difference that is shown from base price to base price of uh, platinum. So it is totally fair and that's why I'm still buying it. And you have to also keep in mind that the resale value of the 2022 Tundra, let's say three, four, five years down the road, will be at least 10% better than the 2021. You might not agree with me because you might say, hey, a lot of people is going to miss the V8 engine and therefore the older Tundra with a V8 will go up in value. That is potentially true but the trend right now is that people are moving toward uh, EVs and hybrid models and in four to five years time people are not going to want to buy a gas guzzling V8 engine except for a small percentage of people who loves V8 engines. Plus the fact that you're going to save money on fuel because the new Tundra is also more fuel efficient. So when you take into account uh, price based on content change, equipment change, based on difference in resale value and the difference in the fuel mileage, when you add them all up, then the true difference between 2021 and 2022 is a lot less than you think. So for me, it's absolutely a no brainer to buy the 2022 Tundra. Yes, I wished we had an option to buy a V8 engine, but that's history and that's not gonna change. So we might as well accept what's going on with the Tundra and then move on with it. I suppose the ultimate test of value is when I actually get to drive the Tundra and use it every day as my daily truck and to see if the value of the truck is truly represented in the feel of the truck. So that's something I will have to wait and find out when the truck is uh, finally in my hands and I'm driving it all the time. But until then, when people ask me, David, are you happy with the choice to buy the 2022 Tundra? For me, it's absolutely yes as an answer. And of course, I will let you know once I get the Tundra, whether my passion for that truck stays that way, because once you drive it, sometimes the feeling change and sometimes the experience change. And who knows, either I'm going to be even happier with the purchase or perhaps I will have buyer's remorse. Those are things to be determined. By the way, I do want to explain why I bought the Platinum versus the Limited or any other trim levels. Well, a couple of reasons. One is that in the first round of allocation, there is not a single limited with a TRD off-road package in three or four dealers I'm dealing with here in the west coast of Vancouver. So by default, if I really wanted the Tundra as early as possible, partly because I've already traded in my Tacoma TRD Pro, then I had to pick the 1794 or the Platinum. Otherwise, I have to wait for the next allocation. And the 1794 is very special indeed, but I don't like all those chrome on the exterior, and I don't like that tan brown color on the interior, because that's the only choice we have here in Canada. So obviously, I picked the Platinum. And the bonus of picking the Platinum is that I get all of the upgraded features that you don't get in Limited, such as the digital cluster and uh, head-up display. Those are things that are unique to the Platinum and 1794. And I wanted to buy a Tundra with all of those new features so that I can experience it firsthand. So it kind of made sense to buy the Platinum. And as a bonus, what turned out to be really nice about the Platinum is that it's almost like a Tundra nightshade. If you look carefully, the bezels of the grill and some of the trims are kind of like a dark chrome color or dark gray and not shiny chrome like in 1794. And even the wheels are dark gray, much like in nightshade models. So the look and feel of the Tundra Platinum is kind of like a Tundra nightshade. And I own the Forerunner nightshade and I really like that kind of very subtle look with the dark gray trims and some subtle dark chrome trims around. A kind of a sleeper look with a really really cool overall design. So I'm very happy about the exterior design. The interior is black leather for me which is fine because I'm always moving stuff between my boat and my home and my office. So I'm always carting things in and out of the truck and any kind of lighter color leather or any other materials will likely get dirty very quickly. So black is perfect for me. So windshield pearl on the exterior, 
black leather on the interior and dark gray trims all around the exterior because it's a platinum. Well, this is a perfect combination for me. So I'm getting really excited. Uh, it's fully loaded with all the options on the list. And uh, so I'm going to show you and tell you everything once I get the truck. And hopefully the experience is going to be super positive. I will do kind of like unboxing of the Tundra when it arrives and I will take videos of the actual delivery and setup and so forth so you can experience the pickup of the Tundra together with me in this journey toward 2022 Tundra. So until then, a lot more information to come your way. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe if you can, that will help me a great deal. Thank you again and talk to you very soon. With the all-new 2022 Tundra, Toyota's legendary truck expertise has entered a whole new generation. Designed and assembled in the U.S., this incredible truck rewrites the book on what a full-size pickup can be. And this three-part video series will explain how through a closer look at the amazing engineering that powers Tundra. In this video, we'll dive into the mechanical construction design that comes standard underneath the skin of every grade. Let's start with the frame. True to pickup truck form, Tundra's construction remains a body-on-frame design for maximum capability and durability. But for this new generation, a wide range of engineering enhancements have helped Tundra achieve an optimal balance between strength and weight, as well as improved rust resistance, driving refinement, and structural safety. This next generation frame technology achieves this thanks in large part to the use of a box section design that provides increased rigidity over the previous open section C-shaped design. Despite the added strength, this frame's mass is kept under control through the use of laser welded blanks, a technique that allows for a range of variable thicknesses, seamlessly increasing strength where it's needed most and saving mass where it's not. Even the overall dimensions have been optimized, with a new, wider structure offering great stability while towing. So with this new frame forming its backbone, Tundra brings greater stability, ride comfort, and durability than ever before. Even on the outside, Tundra's next-gen engineering is evident. Every body panel and component has been carefully engineered to provide great durability and longevity, while keeping weight to a minimum and performance to a maximum. That's why there's an increase in rust-resistant wax in the rocker cavities, as well as damping coat and primer on the underbody. And it's also why the hood and front door structures are made with rust-resistant aluminum. The same goes for the resin deck and tailgate components, which work alongside aluminum reinforcements to provide an exceptionally strong, long-lasting pickup bed that can take day after day of hard work. This increased use of aluminum and resin is a big part of Tundra's new body, but it's not the whole story. Ultra-high strength steel also plays a role here, with its usage seen in the cabin reinforcements and cross members while even the spot welding pitch has been shortened to optimize body panel thickness, keeping excess weight to a minimum without sacrificing in-cabin refinement or safety. Tundra's noise, vibration, and harshness, or NVH, has been further reduced by additional coverage area for the silencer materials installed throughout the floor and cabin, including a redesigned dash panel with a new triple-layer silencer. All of this comes together to ensure Tundra delivers a refined, comfortable ride on or off the road. It's not all about the body and frame, though. It may stay true to its full-size pickup roots, but this Tundra is a serious showcase of modern engineering wherever you look. One of the most noteworthy examples of this can be seen in the rear suspension, which now features a multi-link layout, which is rarely used in a pickup truck segment that typically relies on a more utilitarian leaf spring suspension design. This setup provides incredible road manners and towing stability without losing any payload capacity, and also helps allow for the use of the more advanced suspension systems available on select Tundra grades. 
as well as a range of grade-specific performance upgrades. Even the previous hydraulic steering system has been replaced with a new rack-mounted electronic power steering design that not only provides a smoother steering feel, but also allows for the implementation of Tundra's amazing drive mode customizations and active safety and driver assistance features. With this new suspension and steering, it's clear this is a seriously tough machine designed for a whole new era of capability. So that's a quick look at some of the engineering inside the all-new Tundra. And this approach to smart construction design can be seen on every model. Whether the ever-capable SR5, the TRD Pro Off-Road Warrior, or the Plush Limited. That's why it's no surprise that Toyota has the reputation it does when it comes to delivering quality, durability, and reliability. These are truly trucks built for the long haul, wherever that may lead. Now combine that with ownership perks like the Toyota Care Maintenance Plan with roadside assistance. And it's obvious why owners swear by their Toyotas. In the following video, we'll take a look at the incredible next-gen powertrains under Tundra's hood, including the game-changing iForce Max turbocharged hybrid. To learn even more about Tundra, be sure to check out Toyota's YouTube channel or visit toyota.com slash tundra.